Now, the ANC uh, says its decision to hold three major events in KwaZulu-Natal will help unite, heal wounds and strengthen the party. There are the National List Conference. That's underway. We'll talk about it tonight. The January the 8th statement and the manifesto launch. The province is still reeling from crippling political killings and factionalism. The African National Congress, Africa's oldest liberation movement, formed in 1912, the organization's founding president was John Langalbalele Dube, who hailed from Inanda, north of Durban. This year's birthday celebrations will be held in a province which is also the ANC's biggest base. They are happening as the country prepares for its crucial sixth general elections. KwaZulu Natal alone boasts 6.6 million eligible voters. We've come home to be renewed, we've come home to find energy, we've come home to find strength, we've come home to be able to have the energy to move forward as we are now are rolling out full force the election campaign. The ANC's birthday rotates among provinces. This year was northern Cape's turn, but is surprisingly now in KwaZulu-Natal, plagued by deep divisions. The starting point was for leaders or in different leaders in the province of KwaZulu Natal to accept that the divisions and the factions that are there in the province are not assisting the African National Congress and are not assisting uh, the movement in this province to grow and move forward. And that has happened and the comrades got together and decided that we need to do something differently, we need to bury the hatches. One analyst believes President Cyril Ramaphosa wants to use the occasion to stamp his authority. But we have to bear in mind that there are various dynamics within the ANC. On the one hand, Ramaphosa has set out on his austerity mission, anti-corruption mission, and this has marginalized large numbers of people in the ANC who are in a sense out of business. And I think one of the dynamics to consider is that these sorts of people are likely to be wanting to sow mayhem. Rifts widened in the run-up to the ANC's National Elective Conference in 2017. Provincial leaders backed Minister in the Presidency Dr. Nkosa Zanatlamini Zuma. Now, with the national general elections just a few months away, will the party portray a united front? Simpiwa Makanya, SABC News, Durban. Now, the ANC's National Executive Committee, uh, the highest decision-making body between conferences, is locked in talks in Durban tonight. This is the all-important list conference. Now, remember, depending on how many seats the ANC wins in the election, the list will determine who gets uh, placed in Parliament as an MP. Uh, those are placed from top to bottom. There's been some controversy because uh, some of the members sacked from Cabinet uh, and uh, former President Jacob Zuma they have been nominated by provinces so right now they're on a preliminary list but the NEC makes the final decision. Let's cross now to Ayanda and Plongo covering this for the SABC. Ayanda what's happening behind closed doors right now? A very good evening to you, Francis, and good evening uh, to uh, our viewers. Yes, certainly what you've said, uh, Francis, is going to be uh, uh, quite important. And the uh, leaders who have joined here, uh, the ANC, the NEC members who are locked uh, behind uh, the talks, as you've said, are uh, going through uh, quite uh, a, a stringent process. They said they're going to be scrutinizing name by name. We know, uh, Francis, that uh, there are about 800 names that have been uh, submitted from uh, the uh, provinces. And these are the names that the party's NEC is going to consider. We spoke earlier on to the Deputy Secretary General, Jesse Duarte, who came out to briefly address the media on what the processes are going to be here. I suppose it's going to last possibly throughout the night, Francis. They only started about four hours. And they, from these 800, they've said they're going to bring it down to 400 names and again try to even trim it further to at least 200 names that are going to be decided upon by the NEC. There is going to be the first 100 names and of course these are the names of, uh, of possible uh, uh, members who are going to be representing the party in both the national and uh, the, of course they're also looking at the provincial list as they have to approve uh, the names that have come from the provinces. But equally I think all eyes is going to be on who they're going to be deploying 
to the uh, national uh, parliament, the national assembly. Uh, so they've said of those hundred names, they will not uh, tamper with those, but they are then going to then further look into the uh, second uh, uh, batch of the, the other hundred of the 200, and they are then going to be looking at issues, uh, looking around uh, whether or not they meet uh, the gender, of course, the 50-50. They're going to be looking at uh, youth representation is also going, uh, going to be quite important. They've also said, though, that they're looking at experience and they want to see a percentage of about 40 percent um, of uh, the uh, members who are going to make it on to the final list, that they are those that have the experience that they've served um, in Parliament for the ANC or who have served uh, in the provincial parliaments and they will possibly then be taken to uh, the uh, um, National Assembly. So this is quite quite an important process. They stressed that uh, regardless of how long they take, uh, we did ask when they expect to conclude at uh, this national uh, uh, list conference, which is supposed to have taken uh, one day, but uh, uh, Jesse Duarte, they are saying to us that uh, they do not want to rush uh, the process. There's a lot they're going to be looking at. Of course, the other issue matter that you raised there, uh, from is to look at those uh, names that have been quite controversial for the ANC and I heard you speaking about uh, the former President Jacob Zuma who in fact is also uh, here. We did get an opportunity very briefly to go in uh, for a photo opportunity and he is uh, um, part of uh, this uh, NEC. The uh, likes of former ministers uh, Malusi Kigaba he's also here. She mentioned that with regards to uh, names or, or controversial uh, leaders or figures within the ANC, first of all they'll be looking at whether or not uh, somebody they have a criminal record but in terms of uh, other issues and whether or not they've uh, been forced to leave uh, their positions for bringing the party into disrepute uh, she said that uh, they will be looking at that but it's, it's a possibility that some of the names that have been seen as controversial controversial leaders of uh, the ANC we might see uh, those uh, people making it on to the uh, list of the ANC but she did say that uh, they're going to be going through it quite uh, thoroughly uh, and ensuring that they apply their mind. They want to ensure that the ANC puts forward people who are going to be credible, people who have been committed, work for the, uh, for the ANC and also people who are then going to go further and represent uh, this party. The party has been on this new campaign of renewal and rebuilding and so it's going to be quite important that the leaders that they pick here uh, today uh, to be part of uh, the final uh, list are going to be leaders that are of been uh, uh, well received, of course, by the uh, the, the public and those Ayanda, field. Let's just clarify, Ayanda, if you can hear me, let's just clarify this. So you've said that the first 100 are basically safe, but they're also vetting for integrity. Uh, so we, it's been reported that Jacob Zuma is at number 74, Malusi Gagaba at 26, Butterbile Dlamini at 17. So are they a shoe in or are we waiting uh, to see how vigorous will this vetting for integrity be? I think so. Um, we'll have to wait for that uh, process uh, to uh, um, unfold. But as I said, uh, Jesse Duarte did say that there could be a possibility of those names that you've mentioned will uh, make it um, on uh, to uh, that uh, list. Um, but as you said, like the former president, uh, Jacob Zuma, of course, they also have to accept. He might not um, accept uh, the uh, uh, nomination for his name to be uh, amongst those that will be rep going to parliament. So it's still going to be quite a process. I guess tomorrow morning we might get an idea uh, possibly of where they are with the process, who are um, at least the first hundred names and whether or not there's been um, any of those that, that have been uh, put on that list or named have rejected uh, those uh, nominations. Take us through the technical process. So President Soro Ramaphosa is there leading it. Do they any, have any criteria to kick out names uh, or, or move up names? Because as you, like you said, they've got 800 now. They want to whittle that down to 400, then 200. <laughs> Well, uh, Francis, the, he, the president is here, of course. He opened uh, um, the uh, conference. We were not part uh, of that. We were just, as I said, given a very brief time to go inside just for pictures. But um, uh, it is. It's basically the, the, how they explained it to us is that there are 800 names. They're bringing them down to uh, 400 from then down to uh, 200. And so they will leave, certainly will leave here having, um, um, uh, uh, having approved those first 100 uh, names or the first 200 uh, 
uh, names. It's the, it's the second hundred uh, names that will make up the 200, where it's likely those are the ones that are going to be discussed uh, as well and possibly go through this quite thorough uh, um, process where they're going to be yeah. taking input as well. You've also got the alliance here, Francis, we must not forget as well, uh, SACP is represented and uh, COSATU, so they'll probably want to also, amongst those, have leaders uh, representing from the alliance who are going to be part uh, of that. The Youth League as well, also represented here. They also uh, want to have a certain percentage of young people make it on uh, to that list, if not the first hundred names, but certainly uh, in the next uh, from uh, 100 to uh, 200, as well, of course, as women wanting 50-50 representation um, of women. It is going to be quite a thorough uh, process, they have said, but tomorrow morning we would be able to get some light on which direction and possibly even be able to get the first hundred names. All right, thank you very much, Ayanda. It will be very interesting to see how the ANC makes this decision.